might be in trouble at the house. You got two minutes to sacrifice yourself for the family, dickhead. Well, we're gonna get there in what 30 happened? seconds with the Ferrari oh, thing. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But yep. you fucking killed his lawyer? No, no, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. Oh, shit. He'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Where'd the gate go? <laughs> That's not a family car. All right, Jimmy. You keep oh, yourself boy. concealed. I'll go get the girls. Now, what are you doing? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie do. <laughs> I killed Amanda. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> Oh, right in the balls. <laughs> Stupid goons. Would you stay here? Keep your heads down. Be safe, man. Don't you worry about me. Stupid goons everywhere. Clear the house! All occupants! Get out of my freaking house. Frag out! Don't say frag out. Oh, shit. Someone said frag out. I wasn't. Oh, my. I wasn't just hearing things, but someone did say frag out. Some health upstairs. Maybe. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Down the stairs you go. Where we're stopped, nobody knows. Oh shit. Come on, where's this last guy? Neither do I. Just keep calm. Really, buddy, you're right there. Get me out of my house, please. Freaking Negro. Get out of my house. Get off my property. Get out of my life. Fuck you guys. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Yes, my stamina is 100%. Are you kidding me? Amanda, I think Holy shit. That guy almost killed me and I had one shot left. Oh my god. Oh shit. He's got the bong. Oh. Could it be? <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Oh, <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> That's the wrong person. I thought I was on that So you sit on his face? You really fucked him up good though, huh? All right, listen. It's all going to be okay. Stay put. You teabagged the wrong person. Oh my god. Fucking Jimmy. 50% that's a hit. Oh my god. Damn it. I'm getting all these stupid 50% everywhere. Oh. 
Where the hell are all at the pier? My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Merriweather isn't short on excuses to come and kill you. What is Devin Weston? I ain't looking for respect. I fucking hate that guy. They came after my family. All right, right. I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. That's smart. Meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. I wonder what it would be like if they made GTA 5 into a movie. Or just like into a movie in general for GTA. I wonder how that would go. I wonder if it would do good. I wonder if it would do bad. It would probably do good. It would probably do good because of GTA. Yeah, I'd probably do really good. So, I guess we're setting up for another heist preparation. Preparing for another. Oh, God damn, what do you want, Amanda? Michael, did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house. I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe. He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Yep. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Trust Michael Townley. Michael the Santa. Michael Mr. Santa. I don't know. But yeah, GTA as a movie would be pretty interesting. I think it would do really well. I don't know how good it would be, but it would do pretty well because everyone would hear a GTA movie and they'd be like, oh shit, I'm going to it. Everybody. Everybody who knows J G GTA. Everybody who knew knows GTA. Everyone who's played GTA. Anyone who's experienced GTA. We'll go see the movie. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. So do I go through the front of the... No, there's the front, I guess. Yo, boys, what's going on? Give me a... Do we still here? Yeah, he's still here. He's still here. He's just sitting there. Well, I guess it's, Tra it's Trevor's new place, so... Of course, they'd be, uh, he'd be sitting there. In the corner. Hey. Sorry, Yo, late. boys. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. Me too. That's all I'm saying. But fuck you. Fuck you. All right, Excuse all right, me. All right, huh? Enough. Chill Thank out. You. Chill out, Brosif. Okay. Uh, this is it. Bro, name it. Oh, Bro. They're both little uh, out there, but then again. What do you oh boy, we get to choose our heist. One, we hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and then we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. You load up, you get out. And we need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front. Make you think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> What's so funny? The other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're going to be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap, these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling right. a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. 
Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough, and then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, or I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again, I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, uh, you've got to get some police stingers. Uh, only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Uh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total. <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okie doke. Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? Well, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I've heard that before. Michael, subtle or okay. obvious, what's it going to be? Okay, last time I did the... I think it was the subtle where you go and hijack the the, the armored car. So, um, I think that was the one I did last time, but I think it's the subtle one. So that's the obvious one, actually. Um, yeah, probably <laughs> obvious. <laughs> Who are we gonna pick? Um, all right, uh, this is the girl I the saved. Wall, so we'll just need a skeleton crew. Taliana. Okay, um, two gunmen and two drivers. The first driver will pilot one of the choppers. Yeah, her. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good, and she'll work for way less than she's worth if you believe that. Did I just left her? Yes, I did. Real. Select a driver to hire. Okay, Dude, this guy. Clown on a jewelry store job. A little bit less of a clown on the bureau rate. But he'll do good on this one, and we can still pay him dirt. Gunman 1 is with Franklin, burrowing in and pulling out <laughs> the gold. Gunman 2 hits the bank lobby with you and makes it look like you're a couple of Chef. idiots trying your luck. Yeah, let's go with Chef again. Who is the cheapest rate? Let's go with Negro hey, Jones. gotta give the guy some cred for coming out of the bureau with his uh, abilities. Dad, I reckon he learned something. <laughs> Not enough to charge more. We've been waiting our whole lives for this one. Are you sure you got this right? Yep. Great. All right. We get the tunnel bore machine, and we're good to go. Fucking glory seeker. Oh, you got any better ideas? Obviously not, otherwise you would already killed me and done the gig yourself. I mean, what kind of vain asshole decides that the best way to rob the largest holding bank on the West Coast is for him, and him personally, <laughs> to come at the front door? Kind of vain asshole who's stuck working with you, you stupid. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right, ladies. We gotta move. Come on. Chill, molester. Do this. I'll show you what Calm you down. Go molest somebody else. What a molester. Oh, gotta respond to that, whatever that was. Um. Let's save it. Why not? Or might as well. So anyway, guys, um, well, 61 to 66, well, that's a lot. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be wrapping up here. Um, next time I rec Next time I will be recording will probably be tomorrow. To uh, wrap it up, we'll be moving on to something else, I guess. I don't know if we wrap it up tomorrow or even tonight. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed as much as I have, even though I've been pissed off for the last couple episodes here. But, uh, anyway, uh, like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment down below what you guys want to see me do in the future or what you guys want me to see me do anytime so uh yeah take care and spike your hair
You should have a pickle up your ass. <laughs> yeah. Bitch.